Army are out of the room. When they come back, they'll be having a debate, okay? And uh, so they're going to be trying to come up with the topics that we will discuss here. And uh, when they come back, they won't know what they are, obviously, because they're gone. So from you, I'm going to give you uh, like a suggestion like we've been doing all night. You give me some things that fit that. We'll put together a couple topics for the debate. Okay, so let's start with topic number one. Let's start somewhat simple. Let's say there's some... Let's say there's some like uh, headline news story, some global crisis or something, uh, but something silly, not that you would actually ever see on the news, nothing that could actually really happen, but some silly crisis or, uh, or world event. Anything like that? Uh, I got the front row, hold it down. What do you got right there? Oh, the door won't open? The, the door, all the, all the doors in the world won't open. <laughs> that would make news. <laughs> okay, topic number one. We're discussing the global issue of all of the doors will not open. What are we going to do? All right, that's topic number one. Let's change gears here. Topic number two. Let's say that for topic number two, uh, let's start with some sort of uh, an Olympic sport. The Olympics are coming up. Uh, maybe your favorite Olympic sport. Curling. Curling. Curl lots of curling fans. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Curling it is. Uh, okay, so we'll take curling, all right, and that's the, uh, you know, like this, what's that, stone? What do you call it, stone? Sweet, and a sweeper? I don't know, I don't know what the terms are. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. They, I don't even know, they don't even know. Uh, so, uh, we've got curling. Now let's take the stone, and let's not curl with like a stone, but let's, let's slide something else down the ice, unrelated to a stone. A watermelon, a pizza, what's it called? A, a penguin? A what? Oh, we've got a lot of good ones. A watermelon? A donut. Alright, alright. So let's see. I like, maybe it's because I'm hungry, I like the donut. Um, let's do it. So we've got curly. We're going to slide a donut with sprinkles. Um, that's the way I like it. Uh, down the ice, and now instead of the sweeper broom things, we need to we need to do something else. The, the, the guys are something unrelated to it doesn't even make sense. A walker. A walker. <laughs> a walker. Okay. Did you say donut too? Are you guys said donut? Oh, oh, we got a team effort over there. Okay. Okay. So excellent. We have the sport of curling. The sport of kings where we slide a donut down the ice and it's met with the vigorous <laughs> sweeping of walkers. That is our new sport that we'll debate uh, whether to have let it in the Olympics in the next four years. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's topic number two. Topic number three, change gears again. Let's start with uh, an animal. Any animal, your favorite animal, high school mascot, <laughs> Superheroes might have, uh, but some weird, silly ability that maybe that you wish you had, or something like that. Uh, yeah, what do you got? You can turn bullets into paintballs. That's interesting, interesting. What do you got back there? You can combine things. Oh, we are combining things all over the place tonight, my friend. Well, what, what do you got? Uh, yes, right there. The power of bad memory. The power of bad spell. It's stink. Super stink. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a personal attack. <laughs> you know, like it's a superpower, you can use that. <laughs> um, and and um, what, what, let's see. Let's, let's shoot, let's combine those. Or let's combine things. Let's combine. 
out of your armpits, you can shoot paintballs. That would be a superpower. Especially if you're playing paintball. They won't expect that. That's crazy. So, topic number three. Let's review here. Uh, topic number three. What I did is we created an animal that is half snake, half giraffe, that can shoot paintballs at its own heads. There's a mental limit for you. All right, uh, that's topic number three. Topic number two is the sport of curling, where we slide a donut down the ice and we sweep the ice with walkers. And topic number one is all the doors in the world can't open them. Can't open all the doors. That's topic number one. Um, so those are our topics that build this. Oh, okay, I forgot something. Um, <laughs> you see, when they come back in here, they're going to have a debate. And the thing is, they're going to have to figure out what we just came up with for topics as they look to me as I act them out. So, yes. Thank you very much for your help. That's how the debate's going to go. So uh, let's bring the guys back in here and go get them. Uh, the way it's going to work is they'll stand up here. I will face one of them and uh, give them some clues, again, with, uh, with, uh, out speaking. And uh, if they're not doing well or if they're going down some really bad bunny hole, I will go down to and uh, face the other guy and hopefully they get some more information that way. If they're saying something that's along the right track, give them a little round of applause like we did at the party works. Just let them know. Good job, guys. You're close. And then when they get it, if they get it, hopefully they'll get it. Good round of applause. Uh, if, like they get it, if they get it, if they get it. Not the confidence we're looking for. Well, I'm not interested. So, not that you take your water. No, this is mine. This is, this is How many topics do we have? Uh, do I need to be over here? Twelve. Uh, we have uh, three topics. Three of them. All right. Three okay. topics. Jeremy. We yes. Use. We'll open the debate with you, sir. Topic number choice. one. Oh, we have this. We have an emergency. Okay. It's a global crisis. A global crisis. Yes. All right. Okay. So I'd like to start off talking about topic number one. Uh, you know, when you when you go uh, walking in the morning, uh, you want to stretch your legs out, make sure your TV is in its right place, make sure you leave it there, and no, but we'll forget the TV for now. Yeah, right. that could be anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's in the right place or the wrong place. You just turn it off and leave the house, and it'll be fine, or just kill it. Uh, <laughs> kill the whole TV, get it out of the way, your life will be better for it. All right, once that's out of the way, then you can realize we have an arch right here in the house. We can open our own McDonald's. I mean, if we have a second one. Over a billion serves, it's a good investment. So what you want to do is uh, first you uh, open the door, you go outside, take a look outside. Uh, but you know, you don't want to take a look because it's, uh, it's dark out. Uh, but also, you're, you're staring up at the sky and you say, hmm, it looks like rain. <laughs> Outside, you see things, all right. And a lot of times, there's a door there, and you walk through the door. And uh, I mean, some people like the door. Some people like to call a timeout and say, "I don't really want to be around the door right now. I need a minute." Now, if you approach the door and the door does not open, then that's, that's, that's going to be a problem. The best way to fix that is to jiggle the handle. Right, because if you jiggle the handle constantly, the door will usually open because that's how doors open. You use the knob. But uh, if that's you, you can try kicking it. You can uh, occasionally try crowbars if you happen to have one of those. You can call your mom and say, "Hey, mom, come, come open my door." You're much stronger than me. Uh, maybe. Uh, wow. Well, sometimes the truth hurts. Uh, all right. So you're on the phone with your mom asking for some help. <laughs> so you got this door. It won't open. But uh, you're, you're looking around, you're like, man, numbers are fun. <laughs> but you're going around, you're trapped in your house because uh, it seems that all, all over, uh, all over the world, doors are not open. That we grew up those times. I feel like I feel like we got that one pretty quickly. <coughs> No confidence. Well, that was, that was we would have gotten quicker if you wouldn't have distracted us with all that TV stuff at yeah. the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. McDonald's, yeah, it's going all kinds of rabbit trails. Yeah, well, that, that was the easy one, so good job. <laughs> good job. Yeah. 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 All right, topic yeah. number two. Number two. Yeah. Carl, yeah. The topic is yours to begin. Uh, we are discussing a new Olympic sport. Sweet. For 2018. Okay, great. 
All right, here we go. Uh, anytime you want to invent a new Olympic sport, you need to start with the basics. You need to start with the cold kind of climate, which is not uh, difficult to do these days because of you know global warming. And uh, once you've got the cold, wet, damp surface, uh, then you're going to be able to really get started on things because it's going to be slippery because cold and wet turns into ice, right? It's cold. So we're going to start out with ice. Sure, ice is an important part of any sport. Uh, I know football really benefits from it, um, right? Sure, it's sticking to someone else. Yeah, yeah. So you got yourself some ice. It's important. You get the ice cubes for your glass. Uh, no, hold on. We'll put the ice aside for a minute. Because when you wake up in the morning, you uh, it's not always cold. The ice is not always prepared. And sometimes you're just hungry for some ice. Uh, ice is tasty. It's filling. Uh, it's also water, so it's good for you. Um, so what you want to do is you want to open up your special briefcase where you keep your special ice. Uh, cryogenically frozen in ice. Uh, not me. <laughs> Alright, so you've got ice that's not, it's, I'm assuming it's not in a briefcase, no, because it's out, it's like at an ice rink. You got, or, I mean, you take a time out and just move away from the ice rink, move to a different place in your life. You can then you can put on a hat and walk around and approach people and say, yo, Text? Uh, <laughs> 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 worst cowboy impersonation I've ever seen. Wait, we got a cowboy. We got a, we got a, we got a, no, no. Not a, not a cowboy. He's, uh, he's got a name badge, though. Uh, and, and he's armed. And he's like, oh. So 
will we're playing the sport of curling using a donut, half-eaten donut, and in place of the broom, we're using a walker.
All right. So you got <laughs> you got yourself the, the, the dreaded Seraph. Uh, but you know when it's it's flying? No, it's not flying. That doesn't make sense. Neither of those creatures fly. Why would it? So uh, what you got here is uh, something. You know, when, hold on. When we're talking about the Seraph, there's something you gotta know about it. It's very it's very important. Uh, you want to put on uh, all sorts of uh, goggles and, and things like that because it spits poison, it's very long necked, uh, uh, but oh, you got to get your gun. you got to make sure it's loaded because these things are dangerous. It's the rat? Yeah, they're very dangerous. Uh, so, you, you, when you're hunting them with a machine gun, <laughs> no. You just shot yourself. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's not important at all. It's a flesh wound. Right. But you're, I'm fine. You're fine. We're fine. It's not. It's okay. It's not even. It's not. We're not even shooting bullets. We we're shooting lima beans. <laughs> no, it's probably more something like paintballs. That seems All inefficient. Right. All right, so you got one simple paintball. Yeah, you smash those things and come apart. It's a big mess. But if you uh, if you go back to this giraffe for a second, <laughs> and his awkward movements, uh, <laughs> you will see uh, those are near the giraffe. No, you, what, what you need to do is approach the giraffe with some paintballs. No, don't do that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> the giraffe. <laughs>